Hi and welcome everybody. My name is Chris from Teacher and Student and in this video I will show you how you can easily set up a survey in Qualtrics, customize your survey and also send it out to people. This is super easy to do so let's do it together step by step. As you can see I am on the Qualtrics homepage which is also your landing page. So every time you log into your Qualtrics account you should see this as your first page. If you are on any other page, you can always navigate to the home page by simply clicking on the logo in the top left corner. On the left side of the home page, you can see all my projects that I have already created. As you can see, all my three projects are surveys. So let's go ahead now and create another survey from scratch. First thing we do is click on create a new project here in the bottom left corner. This now allows us to select what our project should be all about. Qualtrics offers quite a few survey templates that include predefined questions for quite particular situations and purposes. You could, for example, select a survey that collects feedback for an event or feedback for a trading that you've conducted. If you like, you can hover your mouse over one of the template tiles, click on more details and you get a little information box on the right side which gives you a bit of information what situation the template could be used for and also what exactly the template includes. In our case however we want to create a survey from scratch which is why we click on the survey icon here and then select get started in the bottom right corner. We now give our survey project a name blah blah and make sure create a plank survey project is selected before we click on create project. After some time this will take us directly to the page where we can add and edit our survey questions. As you can see one default question is already pre-populated but I want to start with an entirely blank survey so I delete the question by clicking on the three dots within the question and select delete from the dropdown. This now leaves us with an empty default question block. Blocks are basically containers of questions that you want to group together to give this survey a bit of a structure. Each block displays as one page later when people take the survey. So if I put one question in a block, only that one question will display on the page later. If I put 10 questions in one block, all 10 questions will display on one single page. You will see that later in our survey preview as well. To add a question, we just click on add new question, which gives us a drop down from where we can select all different kind of question types. I always like to start my survey with an introduction text rather than diving straight into questions. This is why I select text or graphic from the dropdown. This is not a real question type, it just gives me the opportunity to put my introduction text in the field to let survey takers know what my survey is all about. I'm just going to copy and paste a text in the field like this and done. If you like, you can format your text by clicking on the content editor button. In my case, I just highlight my text and make it bold. From here, you could for example also add an image to your introduction text if you like. But now that my survey starts with the actual questions, I'm going to add a new block because I want to have these questions displaying on a new page. So I have my introduction text on one page and the questions that I'm going to add now on the next page. I'll call the block personal because the block is going to include personal questions. The name of the block is not displaying in the actual survey later, so you could name it whatever you like. Once that is done, we click on add new question and we can, for example, select um, a multiple choice question. When we click in the question text, we can now write our question. Let's say, where are you from? 
When we now click in the option fields, we can provide the text for the options. Let's say Europe, the next option, Africa, and maybe the third one, let's say Asia. So the individual settings for each question that you add can be found here on the left. So you have to select the question first and the edit options appear. For my multiple choice question, I could, for example, add additional choices by clicking on the plus icon or delete choices by clicking the minus icon. Let's now add another question and this time we select text entry. This is a very easy one. We just ask an open question. Tell me about yourself and users can use this text field to respond. Now, if you like, you can go through all the question types and have a look what might be suitable for you. If you want to check how the survey will look to users, you can always simply click on the preview button here in the top right and the survey will display in a new tab, including a mobile preview, which is pretty handy. When you close the tab, you get back to your survey and can continue editing. I will stop adding questions here though and show you how you can customize the look and feel of your survey. To do that, we click on the little paint roller icon in the left hand navigation and first select background to give our survey a nice background color. You can click on the little down arrow in this field here and just click on the color that you find suitable. If your business has a you know defined color scheme, you can also use the hex code to select the exact color. I'm just going to use my color code, which is F28509. And there we go, we have a nice background. Um, if you have an image that you would like to use, you can change the background type to photo and then upload your image by clicking on change. I personally prefer to have a simple background, so I keep the background type as color. Once you have established your background, don't forget to click the apply button in the corner here. Now let's also quickly add a logo. We click on logo and then click on change the logo image. If you have your logo or any other image actually already uploaded in your library, like I have it, you can of course use that image by simply clicking on it. In case you're wondering where your library is, you can get there by clicking on the three lines in the top navigation and you'll find your library right here. But back to our logo, let's click on change again. If you don't have anything in the library, you can click on upload a new graphic and choose a file from your computer to be uploaded. In my case, I'm just going to select the logo that I already have in my library. And after waiting a bit, the logo appears in my preview. I can now decide if I want to have the logo on the left, middle or right side and also increase the size. All the changes that you do here can be previewed in the right. Now when you're happy with the look of your logo, don't forget to click apply again and done is our beautiful survey. All that's left to do now is publish the survey. To do that, we navigate two distributions in the top bar and what you can see is that we have a couple of options how we can distribute our survey. In our case, and this is the most common way, we want to get a link that we can send out in an email. The receiver can then click on the link to take the survey. To get this done, we click on get a single reusable link which after a little while takes us to a page from where we can copy the survey link. You can then paste the link in an email, send the email to the right people 
and they can start the survey once they click on the link. Pretty straightforward. Once you've sent out the link and people start completing the survey, you can see all the results under the result tab. So to summarize, under the survey tab, we edit our survey. Under the distribution, we get the survey out to people. And the result tab, of course, displays the survey results. And that's how we can create basic surveys in Qualtrics. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like more videos like this, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. Take care and see you again soon.